When the stakes are this high, contestants have ample opportunity to mess up in a big way. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 game show fails of all time. That's all we need for out of time for today, but we'll be back tomorrow. You better count on it. I'll be here and so will we. I'm taking them down. That means we're looking at even more game show contestants embarrassing themselves or game show moments that took an unexpected turn. And if you didn't see a moment you think should be on the list, be sure to check out our first list on the topic. All right, let's see some embarrassment. Uh, who won there? I forgot. Did I you get that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was so distracted by a side dish, I really forgot. Number 10, consenting to fail, Jeopardy. On a 2015 episode of Jeopardy, a clue was given about a term marking adulthood in common law as 14 for boys and 12 for girls. One contestant, Tom, gave the answer age of consent, which made viewers recoil as the answer was not only wrong, but uncomfortably wrong. In common law, the age of this signaling adulthood is presumed to be 14 in boys and 12 in girls. Tom? What is the age of consent? No. For the record, the right answer was puberty. What is puberty? Puberty. In all fairness, the question wasn't easy, but any answer would have been better than age of consent. Even no answer at all. Unfortunately for Tom, he offered up this unfortunate answer in the age of social media. And so the embarrassment, criticism, and judgment extended beyond the show in the form of online comments. It'll cost him how much? 9,300, he will finish in third place. Number nine, horsing around, wheel of fortune. Contestants aren't always the ones responsible for a game show fail. Sometimes the blame lies with the host. Riding a brown horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, and it's wrong! In a 2014 episode of Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak lost his cool in a big way when contestants kept giving answers using the word horse for the category, what are you doing? <laughs> this caused a frustrated Sajak to walk off the stage briefly before returning to yell at the contestants. In their defense, what are you doing is a pretty open-ended category that could include literally anything. The phrase Sajak was looking for was seeing a buddy movie, which is not a phrase that jumps out. There was no need to yell, but it certainly made for a memorable moment of television. Who said anything about a horse? Number eight, the frisky host. Who wants to be a millionaire? It's nice when contestants and hosts can get along for the taping of a game show, but millionaire host Meredith Vieira got a little too cozy with one contestant who was a Navy pilot. Max, you are one handsome guy, whoa. <laughs> I don't normally like to fly, but I am changing my mind. <laughs> Vieira used every opportunity to hit on the man, admitting to the audience that she was, in her own words, quote, an old horny woman. It's pathetic. It's just, I'm an old horny woman, all right? <laughs> but things got even more uncomfortable when the Navy pilot started responding to the flirting in kind, going so far as to give Vieira a wet willy when a question came up about the topic. Go ahead. <laughs> That's my Luckily, the time ran out before things could get too weird. No, 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 no. Number seven, Toronto is where? Jeopardy. The AI revolution may be advancing every year, but some kinks still needed to be worked out back in 2011. Legendary contestants Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter were taking on the specially programmed supercomputer Watson in a series of episodes on Jeopardy. But Watson had a strange answer to a question about an American city. Quote, its airport is named for a World War II hero. It's second largest for a World War II battle. Well, that's obvious, right, Watson? And the response was, what is Toronto? Sounds like geography is not the computer's strong point. But hey, it ended up winning the game, so who are we to judge? And the wager, how much are you gonna lose? Oh, you sneak, $947. Number six, a brilliant choice, countdown. When forced to come up with the longest word he could with a jumble of nine letters, one contestant offered the word hentai. The nervous way he gave the response showed he wasn't sure the judges would accept it, but surprisingly, they did. A uh, hentai? Susie Dent, Countdown's lexicographer, made it sound like hentai was a perfectly normal word, going on to define the word as a subgenre of manga and not mentioning its sexually explicit nature, begging the question if she knew what hentai really was. Um, hentai is brilliant, yes. It's a subgenre of uh, Japanese manga and anime, etc. But perhaps most surreal, hentai 
Hentai ended up winning the round, because the longest word the other contestant could come up with was Patty, which was five letters and not nearly as fun. Thank you, well done. Number five, Grand Slam fail, who wants to be a millionaire? During a college week on Millionaire, one student from Harvard didn't exactly make her school proud. At the $4,000 question, the young woman was asked which Denny's menu item was named after a sports term. Any red-blooded American should have known the answer was Grand Slam without so much as a second thought. But this contestant got mixed up and made Slam Dunk her final answer. A Slam Dunk final answer. Oh, I meant Grand Slam. Only once the answer was locked in did she realize her mistake. After such a horrific blunder, she probably never wants to step into another Denny's again. Sorry, sorry you said that. Oh. So sorry, it was Grand Slam. And that's why you should always take a second to reflect before uttering the words final answer. <laughs> Number four, self potato, wheel of fortune. Look, we all have our moments. It's just that our most embarrassing errors do not happen in front of a live studio audience and millions of viewers, let alone become a viral sensation. Sadly, fifth grade teacher and huge Wheel of Fortune fan Lolita McCauley had a massive brain cramp at the worst possible moment. Faced with a puzzle whose fairly obvious answer was self-portrait, McCauley chose to go with, well... Lolita! Oh, self-potato? Sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what she was thinking either. Hopefully her class of students got a good-natured laugh or two out of her self-potatoing. But I just want to confirm, you did say self-potato? Okay. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Number three, Whoopi Whoops, the newlywed game. This answer is one of the most infamous moments in game show history. In fact, it's so unbelievable that some have dismissed it as an urban legend. However, host Bob Eubanks has gone on record to confirm that the incident did take place. And he's got the footage to prove it. Where specifically will your wife say is the weirdest place she's ever gotten the urge to make whoopee? During an embarrassing mix-up, a contestant was asked the strangest place where she had the urge to make whoopee. She thought the question referred to wear on her body, so she went with the place where the sun doesn't shine, which was certainly too much information for TV back then. In the <laughs> Of course, the question was referring to a physical location rather than a spot on the human anatomy. Her husband's answer was in the car. So he said it was uh, in the car, on the freeway is what he oh. said. Number two, Regis and Kelly, Wheel of Fortune. Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa were a popular morning show duo that most would call household names. But as this contestant reminds us, the operative word there is most. During a tumultuous round of wheel, all three contestants failed at different times to properly pronounce Regis or Kelly's full names to correctly solve the puzzle. I'd like to solve the puzzle, please? All right. Regis Philbrin and Kelly Ripa. No, I'm sorry. We can't accept that, and Lee, it's your turn. One guessed Regis Philburn, and another contestant said Regis Philman, while also pronouncing Kelly Ripa's last name as Ripa. Regis Philman and Kelly Ripa. No, that is not correct. The third contestant looked like he was going to solve the puzzle when it was spelled out for him, but he also mispronounced Ripa's last name as Ripa. Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa. <laughs> no. Clearly, none of these contestants were morning people. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be played a lot? But seriously, nothing makes me laugh like game show fails. My favorite thing is when the entire puzzle is spelled out on wheel and they still get it wrong. Ugh. Anyway, number one can beat it, so let's check out some hilarious honorable mentions and then we'll see what's at the top. The Statue of Liberty is a pale shade of what color? A, pink, B, brown, C, green. You've put pink. Tell me another way people say, no, just hell, just tell me another way you say mother, cause well, Steve, I would say mom, but the answer mom is already up there. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, grandma, family feud. When asked to name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house, one contestant responded enthusiastically with Naked Grandma! The answer was so oddly specific and disturbingly graphic that Steve Harvey couldn't help but give the guy grief for making such a strange choice. 
However, everyone had to admit that it was something no burglar would want to see. What are the chances <laughs> of you breaking in the house and running up into your grandma and naked? <laughs> in the end, the joke was on Steve because naked grandma did technically wind up as an answer on the board because it could be interpreted as occupant. Though that is the only time naked grandma is ever going to be the right answer to anything. <laughs> I love when I have to say naked grandma, don't you? <laughs> um, when I was recording the voiceover for this list, I actually had to stop a few times to laugh because I just found the whole thing so funny. Um, anyway, let us know in the comments what your favorite game show fail is, or send me some links on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton because, you know, I like to laugh. Uh, and also, be sure to watch this other video because that's what we're here for. <laughs>